Hey everyone, welcome to my daytime channel again. Thank you so much for tuning in and thank you for subscribing to this channel. Thank you for always watching our videos and thank you so much everyone for all those who are watching our premieres every time that we release a video. I very much appreciate your effort and for those who are commenting and uh, providing some information, thank you so much for those uh, information that you are providing. It is easier for me to know more about those singers that we are doing like um uh, those singers that we are watching here as our reaction videos and uh, it helps me a lot to uh, learn and um, have some more views of those uh, singers and know where they are coming from why they have that kind of talent and thank you thank you so much for that um today we would be listening to another uh, performance or or a song from Dimash Kudaibergian and uh, the title of the song is, I don't know how to pronounce this one, but tell me if uh, I uh, pronounce this title of this song. Because it's in, I think it's um, um, Japanese, Japanese language and uh, Ikanaide. I don't know if that's, that's the proper way how to uh, pronounce this one, but correct me if I'm wrong how to pronounce this Ikanaide. Ikanaide, uh, title of the song. This is a Japanese language, and uh, let's go with this uh, song of uh, Dimash Kudaibergian. And I do hope that you uh, you would love this one. Tell me what you think of this video on the comment below. Ikanade, Ikanade. I really don't know how to pronounce it. So solemn. His expression. His expression. The starting of the song really is like it seems like it's, uh, it's caressing your feelings in there like uh, it's so solemn and the way he is uh, uh, breathing slowly and then singing his lyrics it's really brought that feeling her end seems like you are very uh, you are being uh, like uh, drawn into the song that he is singing Okay, okay. That's the proper way I got it on the way he pronounces it. Uh, so that's there's a cut in the center and ide uh, on the last. And I love the way he is breathing. Like he's using the effect of the breath to uh, make the effect in the smoothness of the song. And that's uh, the one unique thing about um Dimash that that way of him singing like he uses like not everyone actually this is one in a billion um, I mean one of a kind the kind of performance wherein you can see him use his kind of breathing to uh make the smooth and solemn effect of a song and it's very nice to hear
that effect he made his own echo wow so smooth kind of echo like it's he really make that echo and to like using just using one like a one word of him and then he's making like oh like it's fading it's very nice to hear that's so smooth in there wow That is kind of like making me emotional. God, um, I need to breathe. I need to breathe a little in there because I'm kind of like very, very much uh, bombarded with the emotions. Kind of like my ha my eyes is getting hot and started to tear up again. <sighs> Every time that I hear this kind of voices, like the way he is using his voice in here, that very whole kind, the the whole kind and. Um, mixed up with an opera kind of voice and then he always raises up like that it's really it really um, move your uh, emotion and feeling in there like you cannot stop it especially if you're very much drawn into that song and you are focusing on the way he is performing the way he is expressing his emotion in there and that that effect that it gives you really like ignites the emotion and, and you cannot stop but like i kind of like a little teary i'm starting to uh have uh i can feel my my uh, eyes getting hot in here like oh this this song so emotional by the way he is singing and the expression he is showing on his face <laughs> Oh, 
This performance is so so solemn and um, emotional. I was kind of like I I if I, I kind of held up in there because of, I can feel my eyes getting hot with the emotion that I am feeling. Especially every time I am hearing him raise his voice like that, that feeling that he give you it's really a uh, very um, it you can't help yourself but to feel the emotion that is being uh, uh, poured out in there in a way he always sing his song the emotion is so perfect and the way he is uh, using that and that's one unique thing that he used and therefore in he used this, that that uh, um, he just uh, speak up one word of the lyrics but he made his own echo like it's a fading kind of echo and it's the one unique thing that I observe on this uh, performance of him today and that uh, way of him using his breath as part of the effect and it's very beautiful and uh, we have known him already on the last last voice uh, last last performance of him like he uh, that uh, kind of voice of him that he can raise into a much higher range as i said last time um the more he is using that as an effect it gets higher and higher i can observe that by the way he is always using that on his songs i can see how much more relaxed he is in uh, doing that higher range on his voice and it's a very easy thing for him to do and he can also lower that one like the one he used in the last part of the song when you observe that one when he used that uh, baritone kind of voice on the, that very low baritone on the last part of this song that effect also uh, adds up with this song's beautiful uh, effect and that emotion on his face is really nice uh, all match up together and this is a very splendid performance again from Dimash Kodai Birgian and uh, I kind of learned how to uh, by the way he pronounced that uh, title of the song when he is pronouncing that on the lyrics like I think it's uh, ikana, ikana i de. so cut there is a cut in the center so ikana i and then i de. so ikana i de. And that's the one that I have learned. And thank you for those who entered just this song. And uh, uh, tell me what you think of this voice of Dimash again. And comment down below this video. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, I'm going to see you again next time. Bye-bye.